Good morning, I'm Dr. Grant Garcia, and we're here for our first month blog on sports medicine and shoulder topics that are hot in the community. Currently, we're going to talk about meniscal root tears. In general, you've probably heard of meniscus tears. Maybe you had one or one of your family friends had one. But in general, root tears are less understood. And the reason being is one, overall they're less frequent, but two, they're more commonly missed by orthopedic surgeons as well as radiologists. One recent study found around 33% of meniscal root tears are missed on MRI and on evaluation. In general, the best way to understand this is to explain it with an image. So here we have a knee and the meniscus. You can see the meniscus here is attached by roots. There's the root in the front and the root in the back. The root in the back is the main issue we're talking about today. But as you can see, if it becomes detached, the two bones can hit together and that can lead to rapid progression of arthritis. So what we do is if you tear the meniscus, you can see here, if you tear the meniscus, we drill a tunnel and reattach the meniscus to remake its stability. Overall, we found that mechanical testing, if you have a root tear, it's equivalent to actually cutting the entire meniscus out. So you can see how drastic the results inside your knee can be with this type of tear, especially in a certain patient population. Overall, there's two main patient populations. The first is patients with limited arthritis and low weight. In these patients, we found that with these root tears, it can lead to what I told you before, which was rapid progression of arthritis. And some studies have found that patients with this tear that come in and have this problem can have knee replacements in up to two to four years, which is quite alarming. The second type of patient is someone with a lot of arthritis who is quite overweight. In this topic, and this gets more confusing, but generally we don't fix these types of tears in those patients because we're not sure whether it started from the meniscal root or the meniscal root was caused by the heavy weight and the high arthritis. In general, we treat these with injections and occasionally need a meniscectomy or a cleanup. But overall, let's go back to the other patient population, which is the one I see more frequently. Generally, for this population, we can fix the, the root and reduce the risk of needing a knee replacement in the long term and reduce the risk of rapid arthritis. Overall, we've had good results in patients over 40 years old. We've seen around 75 to 80% success rate, which is quite good in this patient population. What's also interesting is of all meniscal injuries, the most vascular or the area that's the most likely to heal is the meniscal root, which is why we attempt to fix them in patient over 40. In general, I've seen good results in my practice in patients in their 40s, 50s, and even 60s. With this, again, it's important though that we have the right indications. So what I mentioned before, less arthritis and, um, and good weight are important factors in this. Overall, the most difficult part of this whole situation is the post-operative recovery. Your four to six weeks of not putting any weight on it. After that, the overall return to sport or re full recovery is four to five months. If you or a family member has this complex condition, visit my website at www.grantgarciamd.com for more information or make your appointment with us at seattleorthopedics.com or orthopedic specialists of Seattle. Thanks.